Um, I'm speaking on a panel uh, at today's event uh, to do the Internet of Things, to bring uh, an element of um, industrial um, input to the what seems to be a, a largely academic debate, but I, I work for IBM, and so uh, I have a lot of involvement with uh, real, real world projects and the Internet of Things. I think several of the projects that we saw the uh, little vignettes from just now were really interesting, the, uh, the work on new LEDs. Um, and some of the uh, sort of ambient technologies like the, um, the resonant bits one are particularly interesting, so I'm keen to go and find out more about those. I think the, um, the combination of research working with industry is absolutely critical to making the UK a connected nation as there's so many unanswered questions yet in the Internet of Things. I mean, there's a lot of people who are out there doing real world projects, but still um, there are so many complicated bits which at the moment we kind of evade or gloss over or work around, but if we could find some solutions to some really hard problems, that would really put the UK ahead. I think the key message really, as with many of these sort of um, government funding things, is the, um, the, 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 the holy trinity of, of government, uh, industry and academia working together um, as a sort of uh, triple helix uh, to make really cool stuff happen for UK PLC. I think the best bit of advice really is to um, don't assume you can do all of it yourself. One of the things we've really seen with the Internet of Things is that it has to be an ecosystem of partners because nobody has all the skills for the end-to-end -end system. It's always one person is good at the sensors, one person is good at the comms, one person is good at the analytics, but that combination, the three of them together, the instrumented, integrated, intelligent parts of it makes it an IoT project, so you know, be prepared to collaborate.